So I made a sample page on a website. Um, you may or may not want to go to layout and do a two column layout. And then you can put some things on one side and some things on the other. So I'm going to go back and just have a single layout. That's an option for you. And so what I want to do is I want to push enter a whole bunch of times. This is a standard practice that I have whenever I'm going to insert anything. If I'm going to insert a video or insert a picture or insert a table, copy and paste something from the internet, I always push enter so that I preserve the formatting above and below in case I like mess it up or something. And I'm going to put my cursor here around the top. And I'm going to go to the Google community and I'm going to find the session that we had. And then you will find that I posted the YouTube link to the session. So I'm copying that. And I come back here and I go insert video YouTube. Insert video YouTube. And I just paste it and I just leave all the settings. Like I don't care. Just whoop, there it is. And it always inserts as a vanilla box. Okay, and so then I have below it. Now I have like lots of room below it because just in case I want to have room. I put my cursor below and then I go to the Today's Meet, right? So I'm in the Today's Meet and I want to click on Transcript. So I go to the Transcript and I should be able to do Control A. So what Control A on the PC and Command A on the Mac is to select all. So notice the whole thing is highlighted. So you could, you know, take the mouse and highlight the whole thing and scroll 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 forever you can just do control a and select all of it so control a select all of it control c copy or command c copy on the mac and i come back to my page and i command v or control i just paste so now it actually pastes as text so now all i need to do is to go through and like edit it like uh, that's not that valuable delete that's uh, a good one. So this is a ch chance for me to just go through the transcript and remind myself what happened. So this should be a really good activity just because it reminds you of things and helps you to catch some of the stuff. Like, oh, I missed that. I didn't see that sketch worked well with Evernote. Um, and so then I go here. It's like different page styles for different pages on sites. Okay, that's a good little hint, but that doesn't like fully explain it to me. So maybe I just want to put a space bar in here and say um, there are four page styles. Mostly I want to use the web page, which is the default on my pages, but the announcements and um, filing cabinet might be useful also. Like I can expand on them because you know these are just short little notes that people were taking. Evernote can embed into embed into a site. I might want to put on there we'll need the embed code and to embed it into the HTML. So I'm just going through the today's meet and I'm just cleaning it up. I'm just getting rid of stuff I don't meet need, stuff I don't want might take out a whole section at a time. Um, however, it kind of works for you. And then I say, okay, um, talking about Google Drive or whatever. Oh, I took a screenshot right there. So I go insert image, and I'm just kind of making stuff up here. Choose file from my desktop. I have all my screenshots here on my desktop. So I'll just insert, adding an image okay. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's super huge. But this is the beauty of Google Sites is because that's an auto photo resizer. So they just resize it. Oh, it's small. was too small. So you see when I click away, that little option bar goes away. But if I click back on the picture, the settings options comes up. So that's how I can make it medium or large. Um, or I can put it back to the original size. So I can just go through and I can in the middle of the of the today's meet I insert images go find a screenshot okay whoops too big 
make them smaller. So I can just go through and insert some screenshots. I might want to go back and like, oh, it says, oh, here, favicon.cc is easy. And so maybe I'm like, I want to know what a favicon is. So I'll do a screenshot of my toolbar up there. Um, and so it's, I've got favicon, so I'll go insert image, choose the file. There's my screenshot. I have a Mac, so it's super easy to do screenshots. You can do those extensions you can use too. So I just put in, I maybe need want to just go out and get more than the ones that I had just to help me. Like if it makes mention to a specific button, maybe I go try and find that button and take a picture of it later. Um, but I'm really looking to have some like work sample, like this is what I did, um, kind of stuff in there. So here's a, hyper, a hyperlink. I'm going to highlight the hyperlink and come up here to the the link icon in the WYSIWYG toolbar, which stands for what you see is what you get. So I click on the link. Oh, that didn't work. Must have lost it. Highlight it. I'm going to highlight it. Hmm. For some reason that didn't work. It worked the other day. Okay, so um, I'm going to go to web address, and I had... Oh, here's why it picked up the word easy. It highlighted too much. Okay, if I highlight just the hyperlink, it'll automatically recognize it. But I like to check this checkbox to have it open in a new window. So I'm kind of like, that's kind of important to me. I'm going to find some more hyperlinks. So here's another hyperlink. So if I highlight just the hyperlink and I click on it, there you go. See, it automatically changed it to a live hyperlink. But the problem is, is that does not open in a new window. So I'm going to go here to change, and when I click change, I can open this link in a new window. Okay, so let's see if I can find another hyperlink. Oh, here we go. I've got lots of hyperlinks. Okay, so I highlight that hyperlink, and then you'll notice that this little bar comes up, and it says change. So I click change, and I open it in a new window. It's kind of my workflow. Oh, here we go. I have a URL. I click the link. I click change. And then I click open in a new window. So just a matter of me going through, cleaning up the today's meet, getting rid of stuff I don't want to uh, have in there that it's confusing, taking the hyperlinks, making the hyperlinks live, inserting pictures as I feel is necessary, and just showing my general participation. And it's just, I think, a good activity is to go back through it and remind myself of the stuff I want. I can, like, oh, here's something I want to remember later. So I can make it bold. I can make the font size bigger. I can turn the font color pink if I want. You know, I can do things to make certain parts stick out. So typing extra stuff, inserting pictures, changing the formatting, all of these things are ways that I can just get my notes done.